Diefda. Along with making this series on the history of Cornwall, I wanted to include a quick introduction video just to properly explain what it is and why I'm doing it, as well as a couple of extra key things. Cornish history is more than just smugglers, cream teas and pasties, but sadly those are what most people will think of when they think of Cornwall today. And actually many foreigners, if they have heard of Cornwall at all, and through absolutely no fault of their own, will assume it's just another region of England. Now, there are a fair few sort of really good videos on YouTube on why that's not the case. But I realise there is a huge void for people who might want to learn a bit more about the specifics of Cornish culture and history, and maybe go a bit more in depth about why we're different from England, despite being a part of England. So that's why I'm making this series, as well as a sort of bit of fun for myself, of course. What I want to do is cover all of Cornish history in a way that's not really been done on YouTube before, through various videos covering different topics and periods, and thus making Cornish history a lot more accessible and engaging than it has been outside of Cornwall thus far, rather than make just another sort of bland timeline of Cornwall video which, although they have their place, they just aren't too in-depth, they aren't really sort of visually interesting or culturally educational either. They provide a very sanitised, impersonal, almost political view of history. When I say I want to cover all of Cornish history, I mean all of it. I'll be taking you through what we know of Cornwall from the earliest days of the Stone Age during the Paleolithic, through to the appearance of a more modern Celtic culture in Cornwall, the post-Roman Kingdom of Dumnonia, right up until modern-day Cornwall and the issues we face today. This series will be made in a way that you can go as deep as you want into learning our history, by, say, looking at Cornish portal tombs or Romano-Cornish trade. Or you can just get a general overview of each period, the slow evolution of general Cornish culture, and any specific topics you're interested in. I might as well jump around a bit through time after a while, but the playlists will all be nicely organised so everything will be easy to use. Finally, there are just two important things to mention about Cornwall, and it's about how I'll be referring to it. Firstly, after this video, I'll be using the Cornish words for Cornwall and, well, Cornish. Uh, after all, you know, we do have our own language, which is slowly being revived, and we are trying to reclaim our place names and identity these days as well. So when you see the word Kerno, know that it's our word for Cornwall, and Kernowek, likewise, is our word for Cornish. Uh, you'll also see me refer to Cornwall as a duchy, not a county. That's because we are one of two duchies within England, the other being Lancaster, for those who are curious. Um, it's a small distinction, but one that matters to us, I would guess because it's the last sliver of separation from England and English culture and governments that we have. And so in Cornwall, you will hear us refer to it as the duchy, quite a lot, actually. And the reasons for why we're a duchy um, are sort of quite long, but eventually we'll get to that. And that's everything. I hope anyone watching this series will find it interesting, educational, hopefully quite fun and engaging. And I'm more than happy to have any discussions and answer any questions in the comments as well. Otherwise, enjoy the series, and farewellis.